They're very lenient on the A ranks in those, like, time stages, but the S ranks are actually a decent challenge. Oh, yeah. S ranks are for people that want to challenge themselves. Oh, man. I just remembered how long the shadow race took. <laughs> That's oh, a good point. Oh, boy. That's a really good point. And first, I had, the first thing I had to do after you said, oh, I'll do it, was then I had to try and get you to actually, I had to... Get there, yeah. yeah. Get you there. Hey, it's go Shadow. Way, go that way. Look at it's Shadow. Look at I'm trying to get to him. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yay! Yay. Talk. <laughs> You're finally here, Sonic. I don't know where we are, nor do I care. This is where I finish you, Sonic. I'm glad you did the voice. He would have sounded dumb if I had done the voice. I did the voice last time, too. Yeah, but I'm just saying I would have. I was going to sound dumb for him. <laughs> On purpose. On purpose. And I commented then, and I'll comment. I'll be repeating a, a couple things, two, probably two or three things that I said in the original recording. But I like how they had this redoing of the opening from Adventure 2. Yeah. I love that uh, this is a racing fight. Uh, I mentioned that the reason why I like the, this racing fight with Shadow is that it feels like, I don't know if it was intentional, but it feels like a callback to the Sonic CD battle with Metal Sonic, which was a race fight, instead of just a normal boss fight. Which was also in this game, though, too, but... Yeah, yeah, it was. Metal Sonic. Which is funny, though. Oh, no, it's, it's not ironic. I'm like, you do that as classic Sonic, and that makes sense. Uh, That's a good point, yeah. That, that is that is classic Sonic. Yeah. And, I mean, it's from Sonic CD, which is a classic Sonic game. Yeah. So, it makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, I always, and I always felt that the running battles with the, you know, the opposing head, the evil hedgehog, essentially, because, I mean, that's really all Shadow was. He was an analog for Metal Sonic. Yeah. And everybody loves Metal Sonic, but hates Shadow. And I don't think it's a particularly fair... Uh, I think the reason for that is because... We Shadow had Metal Sonic. Well, we already had Metal Sonic, and it already had... Like, the, the different versions even had followings. But Shadow was given a personality that uh, was kind of a popular personality type at the time, but it was losing it was losing popularity already. It's already become repopular again though. It's the Batman problem I've talked about before. Yeah. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like it was But now it's just popular to hate Shadow and it just stuck. Yeah. Along with the, you know, all modern Sonic games suck. Um what is that is essentially a um, social trope. You know what? It's actually it's a good thing that we're playing generation. Uh, yeah. I mean, to kind of, like, showcase, you know, there's no, modern was, Sonic games can be good. Part of the reason we chose it. Well, you was chose it? it. Yeah, that was part of the reason that we thought it was a good idea to play it. Oh, okay. We also mentioned several times during Lost World, I believe, that, hey, it's, we should uh, yeah. totally play this because it's a good modern Sonic game. That's true, we did. I didn't know if we had mentioned it during this, though. I don't know. I mean, not during this, but during Generations in general. And the third thing I wanted to mention about this fight is I fucking love the music. Because it plays the game's main, Adventure 2's main theme, but then when, if you get the charge twice, it starts playing Sonic's theme. If Shadow gets the charge twice, and you have to avoid him, it starts playing his theme. I not only do I always love context-sensitive music, their themes are awesome because Crush 40 makes great fucking music. It's true. Um, and I love just that use of their songs in the fight to really punctuate the characters. And really I really like Shadow's... Uh, I really like Shadow's theme. <laughs> All hail Shadow. Which is a fucking badass theme. You know, I think they... Well, they probably can't uh, fix the perception of Shadow at this point. No, no. no. But I was like, they can... And I think they've already done it, actually. Made a few slight tweaks to make it more in line with modern tastes. But, uh, yeah, they're not fixing that perception. Well, what are these changes to be more in line with modern pace that you're talking about? Uh, slightly less angst, a little more actual anger. That's pretty much it. I actually, along with Mewtwo, I noticed that he has a lot of, uh, Vegeta's cadence. 
Yeah, that's true. And the arm crossing thing. But that's what I'm saying. Like they more of crossing your arms. I'm saying more like Vegeta, less like <laughs> a Stop teenager. And think, uh... Less like a teenage Vegeta, more like a grown-up Vegeta. <laughs> more like a bingo dancing Vegeta. Yeah, bingo dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it before I ever you know saw the movie or anything. Somebody had made a uh, a picture meme. Yeah. Based on the Snickers commercials, where it's one well, the first ones, Vegeta's you know fucking raging goes through like Vegeta, eat a Snickers. Why? Because you're you're hungry. And whenever you're hungry, you act like the Prince of Sands. He eats it, and it's a gif of him ending the the bingo dance. Better. Nice. And I just I had no fucking clue what the dance was from, but I was just like ah, perfect. Act like the Prince of All Saints when you're hungry. That's awesome. Yeah. No, I, that was an awesome scene, though. I love it. Oh, that. yeah, God. The bingo dance was amazing. That was so good. That movie in general was just so good. It was. It was really good. And I, I'll admit that part of me was a little hesitant going into it. Like, there's only a few minor things that could have been slightly better, but not even drastically better. And not even big things. It's just kind of like, oh, uh, okay, good. It's great. <laughs> awesome movie. Watch it if you're even slightly interested in the series. Yeah. My only real problem is, um, I actually mentioned this when I was talking about GT before. So I'll be, you know, vaguely referencing that I had talked about GT again. Okay. Uh, the art still bothers me a little bit. And GT's art had a similar problem to me, where it does it just doesn't look quite right. It looks like it's mostly well emulating the old style from Z, you know, Toriyama's older you know art from that era. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't look. There's something just slightly off about it. And the main thing I can point out that I feel is off is Goku's hair. It's not big enough. It, it did seem a little bit smaller. And that, it, it, they kind of had that in GT, although it was actually better in GT because they were trying to you know, emulate his appearance as best they could. Um, but yeah, like the newer stuff, it, his hair is too small. It's very, it's one of those things that's so subtle that you and you really have a hard time putting your finger on it. Then when you realize it, you're like, why does that even bother me? But it, it really genuinely bothers me. That's kind of weird. I was bothered, as far as the art goes, I was bothered when, like, uh, I think it was, I don't, can't remember if it was Yamcha or Piccolo, mm -hmm. but in the background of the party scene, like, their eyes were just, no, no, it was Tien. Tien looked freaking weird. In one scene, and his eyes were like misplaced, but he was supposed to be looking straight forward. Uh, I didn't catch that. And we're just like, why? He has three of them. <laughs> why him of all people? He has three eyes, and you didn't get any of them right. <laughs> I'm sure one of them was, but in con contrast to the others, no. All right, I think this is the one where you finally get it. Oh yeah, I hope so. Got that one. You got that one. Nope. What the hell? Yeah, it took a long time. Yeah, mostly I'm just like, how the shit did you miss that one? Lou just ran right past no, it. because the, the, like, the controller didn't do it. I even complained about that during the original recording. I was like, oh, the controller didn't do it, stupid controller. Oh, and then I was like, oh, try lock on attacking, and that doesn't work. Yeah. And it's funny, though, because watching it again now, I think if you hadn't jumped and had just moved behind him, you probably would have gotten him. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is what I do next time. Yeah, yeah. You, I'm pretty sure you get it on the next time. Either that or I'm really bad at this. Which is also true. But, like I've said before, I haven't played this far into the game. I've only played up until unlocking the Casino Night Zone. Uh, pinball table, and then playing that for a decade. It's not, it's, it's not 
really that amazing a pinball table. It's not. It really <laughs> isn't. We've played... No, I'd say it's pretty good to pinball table. I... Not really. It's really simplistic, and there's only one. There's only one, but it's not... I mean, I guess it's kind of simplistic. It's pretty damn simplistic. Have you gone all the way to the top? I don't remember. It's been a couple years. So speaking of pinball games, that pinball game you played, one of the two pinball games you played? I was gonna say. The, uh, the, the one with the, the ghost on the table. Not the theater of magic, but the other one. The one that had, like, the haunted mansion. Yeah, the haunted mansion, yeah. that's what it's called. Um, yeah, that one. I did, like, a, a crazy, crazy, crazy high score thing after we recorded that. Like, after I took you home. Funny. We need to play more pinball. Pinball's fun. Pinball is a lot of fun. You know what we oh, can play? Uh, what? Sonic Spinball. I was actually going to say something else in a similar vein. There was another game, Sonic Pinball Party. Yeah, for the GBA. I, I mentioned it already at some point. Yeah. And uh, that's another one we could play. It looks better than Spinball, and it's more modern. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, is, I haven't played it. Oh, well, I'm it. going to... Explain the differences. It, I wouldn't... Well, here's the thing. Spinball it is. Yeah, well, that. But mostly just spinball is very unique in that it's not just pinball. It's still kind of a platformer. Yeah, and it does have a story still. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't really care about that. But, I mean, you have control over Sonic, who is the ball. Uh... Sonic Pinball Party on the GBA is just themed boards. It's standard pinball. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, as a result, like, spinball is a lot more interesting. Got it. So we'll do spinball whenever we do that then. Yeah, spinball would be definitely the better one. Look at that, I got a perfect bonus. We discussed that, actually. Because I was like, how the hell do you get perfect bonuses? And we decided that it was probably, yeah, not dying. <laughs> 